Hi everyone, this is part two to our investigation into the glasses and showing everybody how to put them on. And then we're going to show about these things. In this movie, these were people. In reality, these are what's known as floating heads. It's crazy or not, but these are the demon spirits that float around everybody, everywhere, stinging everybody. And this is what they look like. They look like little floating heads right here. And this is what part of the New World Order does is cuts these out. If you have followed me or you have watched things like the movie The Matrix, this is the Smith of the Matrix movie that has cloned himself all around the earth. He's everywhere in everybody's DNA. It's he's even almost supposed to be here it's part of making us he stings the crap out of everybody and keeps everything going but this is what the new world order gets rid of the the devil's apprentice or the devil's right hand man even the devil gets rid of him he puts him all back together in a basic crystal skull and they've shown this all over the place in many different ways See if we can find one here. This is a very good hieroglyph that shows about the end of days with Akhenaten. Many of these are done like this. You can see this crystal skull right here. And they're having this man actually stare at it. And it's putting all the little pieces back together. They show a lot of these things in the movies because for one, the whole earth is run as a simulation. Nothing is, is random. Just as in the Bible, every single thing is going according to plan, and it's played out like a script. Here's the head right here. You can see that crystal head. That's it right there. They even show it also over here in the Karniak tombs. This is even the eagle right here that looks like a tree, and they are loading all the souls on it so they can rise as a phoenix. Just as in the Bible, when they talk of the, the woman was granted the wings of an eagle to take her to a place of safety. There it is, right there. That is the phoenix I keep showing on my channel a lot. They show all about the mark of the beast here. They've shown the RFID chip. Everything is planned. Everything. This is the crystal head. After that eagle flies, this is supposed to be the little vial for the oil for the foolish virgins. And they have to go through the crystal head to go to wherever we're going, to where that eagle flew to. They have to stare at this head, or they lose their head. You take the mark of the beast, or they will behead you. This is the finished product of the New World Order. They put this little tetrahedron hat on them. That is the RFID chip being stuck into their head. They will receive a visor and now their mouths are basically sewn shut. This is a this this way this person cannot sin. You can't talk. The biggest part of sinning is our mouth. That literally the blaspheming shutting the mouth will quiet the whole earth. And in the spiritual realms they talk of being able to hear everything and to even be able to smell Sin. Sin drives all of these spiritual realms crazy because the smell infects the other levels. This shuts everybody up so the whole earth is quiet and not sinning. And there's the RFID chip right in his head. Right here. We've shown this several places on several different glyphs. Everything is prepared. The whole world is a big test for your soul. Just as the the Bible is even called the Old Test and the New Test. And in the Bible, the Lord says he's going to test us all, to weed us out and separate us. So there you go, the crystal head again and the mark of the beast. We're going to show this guy with this head thing again. And we're going to show the little heads. This is the actual Mayan tablet. This shows the guy that's coming, right here.
comes looking like this snake right here. Now the thing is, right here they're doing what's known as the mark of the beast. If you turn this over, you see the little bit of writing right here? RFID. That is the RFID chip and it's going up into somebody. RFID. Right there. You can even see the face and the little horn of the Bible. All of that perfectly. It's all real. It's all going to happen. This is another mural in the Denver International Airport. Shows the door for the rapture, the guillotines, and there's this Indian guy representing the guy coming to do the mark of the beast, the false prophet, if you will. See how he has the little jar of oil right here for what's known as the foolish virgins in the Bible. He has the little jar of oil in his hand right here. Now I was showing yesterday about how to do your eyes to get and hold up into your forehead to be able to wear your glasses. If you think about maybe wearing like a mask, say you took this mask and then you put it on your face and you took your hands and you went like this. And this is what you do with your eyes, but you do it with your muscles. Just like that. Come around and then hold. Right there. But you push a pressure. And then you hold with a pressure up into your forehead area. It's like you're thinking really hard. And your eyes up like that. And you look naturally around. But you hold this weight up here. Your eyes will look normal and everything. It'll be all okay. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. Just around like that, like putting on a mask. Just like that. And then you hold. This is that glyph that we showed with Akhenaten on it. When you turn them around, they have several different ways of reading them. Down here, you can see one of the entities that we're going to show and a guy called Humanku a monkey looking guy it centers around the dog star Sirius it has something to do with our souls there and you see this guy right here with the hair out to the sides and he's like siphoning off of this dog this is the guy they're going to get rid of. And you can see what looks like the monkey guy here, Humanku. Or Hanuman, excuse me, that's his name. Hanuman. H A N U M A N. Obama actually carries a trinket of this guy in his pocket. This is supposed to be the father in the back with the crown. And he's holding the dog star Sirius. And everybody's trying to siphon all the souls. Because I show the Dog Star series has a way of moving the souls around from where you're supposed to go. There's an actual system to the whole universe. Everything is perfect. There we go right here. The main thing is to see this guy over on the left right here. Him. The siphon. See how he's siphoning on the dog? For those that have followed me again, we've showed how on the progressive commercial rate suckers and they showed them putting in like the chip and it knocks these guys off. He's like a rate sucker. He is one of those little faces that we are going to show. One of these things right here. Now I've shown how all over the earth everything is designed in this way. The spiritual realms control everything. If you're drawing something, the spiritual realms could have you end up drawing something inside that drawing and you wouldn't know it. And then you would be like, oh my goodness. And this is the way a lot of things were done in the older times anyways. God is the unseen. 
God that sees everything. Even most of the other spiritual realms don't see God. Only Jesus has ever seen God himself. Even a lot of the spiritual realms, you know, they're all under judgment. They're all being watched by the Father. This is Dallas, Texas. They show this all over the earth, and it's meant for the Father and for the spiritual realms to be able to see. Just as in most of the music videos, it's not just for you. It's about the spiritual realms and the things that they see. Everybody, not everybody, many people keep going to me, well, people are not going to see all of these different things, Mark, that are in these music videos. I keep trying to explain to everybody, it's not about you. <laughs> this involves this involves a reality that that we don't really matter yet to. We are pawns in all of this. There's that guy sucking off of the dog. They make him look like a rabbit sometimes too. He's siphoning the souls. That is Dallas, Texas. All made up like this. The whole earth is like this. The whole earth itself is actually mapped out as one big story for the end of the age. There's that rate sucking thing right there. This is Dallas, Texas. This is not even turned over. This is just north and south. This shows how most of the world just doesn't notice these things. We'll draw this real quick. Right? There. Just like that. The rate sucker. Yeah, let's draw this real quick. You see it comes down to his nose, right there, down to his mouth. And up his hair is kind of funky. He always looks balding. Him and his boss. The devil also. They look a lot alike. And you can see the dog or the rabbit looking entity. They even have the nose right there in his mouth. So you can see it just like that, right there, just as we've been drawing. It's just a blank sheet of paper. That's him right there. Look at his eye, it's like perfect. Right there. So let's go down to another place that I know of down in Exalapa, Mexico. And we're going to show about those heads and them coming to cut them out. We're going to go down the right here in Exalapa, Mexico. See right here by Veracruz? Exalapa. This shows a lot of what I've been showing on my channel. And there's even a reason for why it's right here. Every single thing has a reason. The Father is he created all the universe and every single world and every single thing and he created you and he's created a way to save you so let's check this out right here in Exalapa okay let's go deep this one is with south as north you turn off these words Exalapa show it like this first we're going to go in close and draw all of this. This shows everything that we've been showing over and over again. Even about them cutting out the little heads. They show that something is coming. And it could be coming from outer space. Even an alien or the stone is what they show. Something's going to change the earth and it will start with America. As in Jeremiah 50, the judgment of America is what begins the, in the Great Tribulation. This is coming, this alien type head. But they show this bull. See how it's like a great big bull head that has crashed and it's on top of this guy right here. 
this is that Smith that we keep showing the just like in the Matrix movie and the mark of the beast is what gets rid of him see after this crashes everybody's lining up and now they have this big clown looking guy and they're putting the tetrahedron hat on him and they're cutting out his eyes and there's that little tiny demon head right there this guy is cutting out that is what this whole thing is and we will draw all of this together and go in close and do this this head is exactly what Roddy Piper is seeing with those glasses they're not real people it's a spiritual thing all of this right here you can see the guy laying down underneath like this trapped underneath the head just as I showed at um, Buckingham Palace this is Buckingham Palace the V for the fifth age coming from the high aids through the serpentine this is the guy see and he comes down with this stone the bullhead and he's the bullhead landing on top of the smith this is over at Buckingham Palace they're all prepared and on that day they start a nuclear war because they have to start the great deception as I keep saying even the devil's side is written to happen in the Bible so it has to happen perfectly that is considered the Word of God that guy right there underneath there that's him he's sitting underneath the bull's head right here just like that right there then you can see the other clown face head over here with a guy cutting it out see him cutting out the head right there just like that so you end up with this whole process the same thing we keep showing when the stone falls and they begin cutting out things with the eyes doing things with the eyes just like that right there so let's go in closely and show some of that we're going to concentrate on this area with that head right there Okay, we're in pretty close here. This is the whole thing here. This guy comes and he starts cutting out the things with the eyes, making the people take the RFID chip, putting a little hat on them, doing things with the mouth. This is a dog coming out of the mouth. By doing all of this, you lose what's known as your dog. By having your own dog, you can this is you can use the dog star serious. This means you have no soul. You're trapped on earth forever, or you can never ascend. Just as the Bible says, if you take the mark of the beast, your soul will be in the fire forever. Meaning you will never ascend. All of that right there. This is the floating heads that I talk of right here. I will even show how they link. And how they do all that stuff. Let's go in close on that one floating head first and draw that quickly to show that. Let's show this guy right here cutting it out. Right there. Just like that right there and that is these things right here just like that okay let's draw this real quick okay let's draw some 
crazy head thing here. See the head comes up and around here. Down like this. This jaw area. You can see its mouth. So nose. And its eye. On up to there. You can see its other eye. Now you can see this guy. See his hair come down? Top of his head, his nose. He's looking back because he doesn't have much time. As we showed on that painting before, Planet X is coming. You can see this knife, his hand. So all of that is right there, what we just drew. Just like that right there. There's that head, and they're cutting them out. They're called the floating heads. They showed him in a video called iPad Goat 2, which actually means the next 911 to start everything up. There it is. Just like that. see the whole big picture of the big guy right here and we verified it all around that's the mark of the beast that's the new world order coming they showed this in the Olympic opening ceremony after the Batman and Robin blew up they came everybody out like this with orange tetrahedron hats on and they started singing about the West End girls then they started singing about the New World Order. And everybody was clapping and applauding. The whole Olympics showed that this is their plan. The Queen is in on it. The King, President Obama, Vladimir Putin, all of Jerusalem, everybody. It's, it's all a big act and a giant stage. And it's going to play out. Here during the Olympics, it might have been the closing ceremony. But then these guys came out. And they started singing West End Girls. See the hats? See the hats? And they're the clockwork orange. They don't have much time. Just as see this guy looking over his shoulder? Because they keep showing Nibiru is coming, Planet X, and he doesn't have much time. Here he is with the oil, and this is Planet X. In the Bible, it's called the Destroyer. It comes and it reseeds the earth, and it replants everything, and it starts a new tree, and it gets rid of everything that we've polluted, and the earth restarts for the next story. It's like him getting the oil. Okay, let's draw this guy real quick this whole unit here. That way we've done it. If you can see it or not. When that stone falls, the Bible says that will move the earth. So we have this here. As you can see the guy's hat. See his hair comes over to here and it goes way out to the side. He looks like this a lot. Like the crazy clown from um, like The Simpsons. His eye there. You can see his eye right there. His other one. You can see the dog right here. I'm not going to draw too much of that. Coming out of his mouth. Now you can see that head, its eye, its chin, you can see the knife, you can see this man right here. All of that 
sense right there. There we go. Same thing we've been drawing and showing. Showed this in a very cryptic video, like I said before, I pet go to. Let's show that. This is the beginning of the Great Tribulation. They show these people, these children sleeping here as what is raptured, and they're they're the bricks for the next kingdom with Jesus. But you can see right here is supposed to be the Catholic Church with their babies. In the Bible, Jesus says he's going to test the Catholic Church, known as the Church of Thyatira. And he does it because of their Jezebel worship, which is the Mary and the beads, which they deny, and the Eucharist worship, which they also deny that they do, and that, they, that the Catholic Church thinks that they are the one who are supposed to test the reigns of all the people on the earth. The Catholic Church has been manipulating all of the earth for all of the wars, the problems. They believe they are supposed to have the Bible that they are the ones who are supposed to fulfill all of scripture even the bad parts that's why the catholic church was involved with the nazis they're the ones that created the nazis they believe they were supposed to do it they believe they are here to test you in the bible jesus says he's going to throw all of them into great tribulation to teach them that they are not in charge there they are the mother mary figure and it says in the bible he will kill their babies. It literally says that. And the book of Revelations is not that big. This is not that hard to read. And I pet go to. There's the Mother Mary worship. And her babies are all dying. There's the oil we talked of. Because these are the foolish virgins. This is why most people will not notice a rapture. The Catholic Church does not get raptured, and that's nearly three-quarters of the Christians. The Orthodox Church won't get raptured. That's almost all the rest. There's only a couple of hundred million more Christians that are considered Protestants, and even the Protestants have fallen away from the grace of our Lord. Very, very few Christians believe in grace, salvation. Crazy or not, literally, out of almost two billion people, I mean, maybe a hundred million believe in grace. All the churches teach works. All the Protestant, not all of them, but a lot of the Protestant churches in America are the ones that are running around condemning all of the soldiers and condemning all the people for sin. They don't believe in grace either. You're not going to see very many people get raptured. All Christians should prepare to go through the Great Tribulation almost all of them are not going to be raptured and it's right here everybody's prepared there's the babies dying there's the oil there's the mother mary figure all in this video called i pet go to this video plays out perfectly for what's coming with the next 911 giant false flag event to start world war three there it is and they're going to be doing things with the eyes the Catholic Church is even preparing to do the New World Order. As I said, they believe in fulfilling scripture. They will even set up and give all of the nuclear weapons to whoever is supposed to use them. Here's the children that they will make. And now they have no eyes. They are cutting out the eyes. Now they're cutting out what's known as the Smith and doing the Mark of the Beast. Right there. That's the New World Order ready to go. This is Russia in this video also. In the Bible it's a great big trap to get Russia out and then Russia is consumed in World War III and destroyed. It's a great big trap that's coming. There goes Russia. And as I show again, here comes China and them. And this girl's out for world peace. And here is this guy. That guy.
the big giant circus master coming, the puppet master, him. I keep showing you where is this little hat and he likes to smoke this pipe. This is the guy that's coming to do the mark of the beast. It's over for everybody. She realizes it. This is the thing they're cutting out. This big thing here that looks like a TV set with a snake on it. That's it. This is what's driving all your brothers and sisters crazy. Go cheat on your wife. Go get your beer. Go get your drugs. C kill yourself. This thing is the voice that tries to make you kill yourself. Drive in the traffic. Do it. Drive off the cliff. You're no good. You're terrible. This is that thing. See it? See it harping on him? Biting him? They, and then when Jesus shows up, he gets rid of it. This is a big discussion in here. Most people think this is the Antichrist coming right here. We will leave that all up to you. As I've said, most of the world is fooled. So trying to argue all of these things is is really pointless. You know, everybody want, just as in the Bible, Jesus says everybody wants to believe the lie. So sometimes you just can't fight it. You just have to go with it. Let them do what they want to believe. But this is Jesus coming in this boat, and he destroys everything, and he takes his people, and he leaves. So there we go. As detectives, we have found motive, opportunity, the means to do it, the intent for each and every single action. And we found cooperation all over the earth with the word of God and all of the evidence all around us. The main point is, it is all real. You are saved by the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God. And it's all real and meant to happen. Now, for those about the glasses, you don't have to wear them. If you can put them on, you can. It's not meant for everybody. I've been doing it for years. This is what I can see. With both eyes, when you look up on what I talk about, the blue sky, and you trace your pattern, not looking at the sun itself, you know, look into a clear blue area. This is where I can see. I can see all the sparkles. And then I can see this cloud. And on one side, I see these tiny little silver dots. They almost look silver, like, you know, almost like the same color as everything you see, just an off shade. That's why I drew this like this so, so lightly, because that's what it looks like. On this side, you can see a face of little tiny bubbles. This side, you can see what looks like a little rope with the little bubbles on them, the little circles. This is what happens when you look through both eyes, well, separately. This rope is in your left eye. This is also part of our infection. You see that little tiny thing right there? That is what those little heads look like. Just like that right there. They will go and they will link into the rope and then they're linked with you and they have to get rid of them. They're praying, fasting, all of those things. And they will hide in this rope, like the rope will turn and bunch up. But this rope is the same way we get out. This is our rope of Rahab. When Jesus pulls us out, he pulls the rope. Whoop, and we leave to all the people that he's wanted. And this is the vine, because this vine has been infected. That's why they can use the rope too. But when Jesus pulls the rope, our soul leaves. These and a new vine is made. This is cut. By doing this, this is cut. You have no rope out. You have no Rahab's red rope. You can't get out ever again. Never. But you're not infected anymore by that stuff. So, but that's what those little heads look like. About like that big. And they hide in this rope. This is your right eye. It's seen as the cloud. With the right side is your face. This is your soul, like the you. This is, I will even show this some more. If you can get to the next phase of being able to see, then you can see the wheel. See the wheel right there in the middle? Exactly as Ezekiel saw. The wheel with the lights the, all around him as a flare of sapphire all around him. That's the wheel right there. So you can see the wheel and then this here on this side and that. And when it's together, that's what it looks like right there. Just about that size in your vision, barely able to see. There's those heads. They link with the rope. There's those heads right there. 
just like in the commercial called Rate Suckers by Progressive. When they plug in that chip, these things are going to be gone. They're called siphons. That's another word for them. They siphon. There you go. That's the Smith all around. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart. God hath raised him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Call out to him. This is all real. Hallelujah, everyone. It's all real. It's all around us. Thank you very much. They're rate suckers. Their bad driving makes car insurance more expensive for the rest of us. Good thing they're snapshot from Progressive. Snap it in and get a discount based on your good driving. Stop paying for rate suckers. Try snapshot free.